No one that's the standard. Or oh yeah, definitely. I, I knew so much yeah, the standard, so I knew that the race he really had nothing to lose by taking it out because he's gonna get the standard and hopefully make the team or just not get the standard at all. So I kind of knew that going into it that there would be a fast pace race, so I got lucky, I guess, in that sense. What's been the key to this consistency of 145s? Uh, I think just just maturing. You know, Coach Francis, I I left to went to Orlando to train for a little bit, but you know, I just trusting the coaching at A&M and staying there and just, you know, I think more of the consistency in workout is what, what's getting me better as opposed to like freshman year when I went from like 143 to 140 at the Olympic trials, like my workouts weren't as consistent. I wasn't as, I guess, mature as I am now. Would you say you're peaking for this race or were you peaking for Worlds? Like, uh, I was actually kind of peaking towards Worlds more because this was kind of just like stepping stone to Worlds. I know I have a, a good chance at meddling if I just keep up this pace and I know like career on YouTube got a lot of guys that can run good, but if I can run like this, I like this kind of meet, so I'm hoping that I could potentially get a medal at the World Champs. A lot of people view this as a pretty even race, a bunch of guys to win. You, I mean, you left no doubt about that. Mm -hmm. did you, did, are you surprised how, much, how big that winning election was? Oh uh, yeah, I actually was. I knew um, uh, Drew had a really fast time at uh, Melrose, and that was a shock to me that he was closing in that hard, so I guess just knowing that those kind of guys can kick like that made me want to just kind of not give up and not like, you know, as you guys said, um, prance over the finish line, I don't know what it was stupid, it was you guys actually, I said prance over the finish line, so I just, I didn't prance and I actually finished it. Yeah, what, what you like trying to lead, did you know that the record was close? I actually did, I, I didn't realize until I looked at the clock, I was like, this is 143, 144, I was like, ah, oh, I think I'm going to miss it, but I might as well try for a lead, maybe I got to work on that a little bit more in practice. Yeah, but I mean, it's still pretty incredible, you know, you're yeah. on like four weeks, you're still going to take your notice, and it's consistent. Uh, just like in the workouts, um, I'm not that big of a distance guy, and I know a lot of people like shun that for 800 meter runner. But I think just more, uh, more or less, just getting consistent workouts, and you know, working hard every day, and just not taking the get the chat for granted. Yeah, you know, that's sort of been like the you know, a couple of people would say when you was like, well, it doesn't have the strength to make it through the race. Like, yeah, but you feel like oh yeah, you can do that. You can try to it. Yeah, and I think the times where I didn't make it, I was just I'm not incredibly old. I'm 20 years old, but I think I just wasn't as mature as I am now. You know. Just going to race and being mentally strong is one thing, but you got to be physically strong and mentally strong to make it in this kind of field. What type of time do you think it's going to take to beat Corey or the world? I don't, I don't know. I think it's going to take something special for sure. This is a really good world champs year. Um, the year Boris won, it was like a 145 low, and not just in him, but it was just a slow year. But I know there's a lot of good guys, um, a lot of good guys this year, so I'm hoping that I can potentially battle and bring home a medal for the U.S. Do you think you'll be able to get around him this time? Like, do you think you'll, there'll be a difference between Milrose because he was able to separate? Yeah, for sure. And the thing about Milrose, I didn't realize we were going that fast. So I saw the time. I was looking. I was like 144. I was like, maybe I hit 144, but I just didn't finish the side of the car. I should have. And I learned from that mistake. And in this kind of meet, I just kind of want to make sure that there was no doubt, like you said, that no one's going to come up on me the last 50 meters. Congratulations. Thank you.